Welcome back to M. Ratthitch channel, the best place to learn table tennis. The video has the subtitle. Please turn on captioning for better understanding. John J. K. Masterclass Lesson 9, Forehand and Backhand Topspin Against Underspin Ball. The tutorial is explained by Jean J. K. Grand Slam Player in Table Tennis, translated by Coach M. Rathich. Tutorial with voice over of Coach M. Rathich. If you love the video, give me a thumb up, thank you very much. Hello everyone, welcome to my table tennis class, translated by Coach M. Rathich. You learned about topspin and backspin. This lecture, let's learn how to topspin on the forehand and backhand. To counter the underspin ball. Action Essentials and Techniques The arc of the backspin ball landing on the table is relatively low, and there is a certain amount of rotation. After landing on the table, the ball will have a downward trajectory. So when we practice forehand, and backhand topspin against the backspin ball. The center of gravity should be relatively low. Adjust the height of the center of gravity according to the rotation of the incoming ball. When exerting force, pay attention to using the hip joints and legs to drive the whole body. The combined force from bottom to topspin the part of the ball recommended in the middle of the ball. When topspin against underspin ball on the forehand, the traditional way of playing basically requires you to rub the ball first. But when I was doing the backspin, it will hit more. This way the ball will be more powerful, more speed. To put it bluntly, I have the power to counteract the rotation. Then when I hit the backspin ball with my forehand, will not deliberately pursue movements that trigger playing hands because the hitting point will be different every time and you have to depend on the rotation and angle of the incoming ball including length to adjust with the body and center of gravity when backhand topspin the underspin ball you need to pay attention to the position of the shot. The starting point of the playing hand will be basically the same as the table surface or slightly higher than the countertop. You can adjust it according to your own conditions and height. After constant practice, you will be more fluent in your lead movements. When backhand topspin the underspin ball, I usually put my right foot slightly forward. There will be some abdominal movements when topspin the ball. This can accumulate enough strength. Then at the moment of topspin the ball, the hip joint cooperates with the force exerted by the upper arm, forearm, wrist and fingers. My purpose is to concentrate all my strength delivered to the moment of impact. Whether topspin the ball forward or backhand, you have to pay attention to the trajectory and spin of the ball, including length, judgment of the ball, adjust where you hit the ball and how far you lead it. Let's go. When topspin against underspin ball, Many people make two mistakes. The first one is simply relying on your hands to exert force. This is wrong. Make good use of hip and leg strength. It's also wrong to raise your hands when hitting the second ball. The further you pull it up, the harder it becomes to pull it up. Be brave enough to move forward. All right, in this lesson, you learn the movements and techniques of topspin against underspin ball balls with forehand and backhand. Remember that the purpose of your opponent's backspin is to force you into the net. So don't think so complicated when practicing after class. Just remember to make sure not to go offline because the net is your biggest obstacle. Pick up the racket now. 
you can practice with a friend's coach. Practice 10 consecutive backspin shots. Be careful not to touch the net. All right, come on, everybody. See you in the next class. The next tutorial videos are found on Pinkson Day. Hello, 下旋球落台后，球会有一个下坠的轨迹。所以我们在练正反手拉下旋球的时候，重心要相对的低一点。根据来球的旋转，调整重心的高度。发力的时候要注意运用髋关节和腿带动全身从下向上的合力。摩